right, let's jump in for the first one here, shall we? I do have a P.O. box that people want to mail stuff to me too, that's true. It's pretty decent. You get to go Urborg, Thoughtseize into Flagstone Smallpox. Kind of the dream. Uh, I guess Smallpox is still pretty good against Bogles, right? If they're on their typical one Bogle start. I think Amulet Titan is a perfectly reasonable linear deck. Perfectly reasonable linear deck. Hopefully this is their only pooper and then the small pox will mostly end the game. I have no idea what I feel comfortable with or good, bad, or otherwise. Unlike a lot of people that play in stream magic, I'm not gonna like baselessly speculate on what's good, bad, or otherwise in this deck list that I've literally only opening drawn an opening seven four and put one land into play versus other things that I've played a very minimal amount. So I feel like a lot of people often like to overstate how quickly you can evaluate things. That needs to be black mana. Cast this one. To pin this thought seed since I can't take this Leyline off the table. And pin this flagstones as well. I'd love to use flagstones ability. Grab this basic planes. Found our best matchups going on, Maddie. Uh, huh. I think I just want to play Dark Confidant here because I want to find more action. Because I want to find more action. I'm going to grab some cards here really quick. I guess Bob could potentially kill us pretty quickly here, huh? Maybe I'll just swamp. Good guy, Bob. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to hard cast this Blood Ghast. And then fire up this Buta Vault. You can get Godless right off of Flagstones. I probably should have there. All right, we have Telerio West for later. God bless. I'm going to fire this up. I don't think I want to play two Bobs out. I think I could die by mistake here if I play two Bobs out. Opponent's dead in three right now. Need them to keep bricking on a creature. Although I guess this covers what's her name a little bit, right? The uh, the core. You know, nothing but the purest magic. So the planes is kind of the same as Godless Shrine, except if I'm going to fetch something out of my deck later, the Godless Shrine hurts me which encourages me to put the Godless Shrine onto the board tapped while it's not hurting me, basically. So this puts them to nine, which means I put them to one next turn. This Bob's been really good to us. Just like been flipping mono lands here. Path to my blood ghast, yep. Plenty of swamps in my deck. So we got them dead in two here. A Polar Scribe with the five month three subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. Let's play my Liliana the Veil. Flashback Lingering Souls. (laughs) 
Smack him for six, down to five here. Do you have any way to remove enchantments on our sideboard? We don't actually. That's kind of scary. I have a few cards that are good here though. Bantu's Last Reckoning and Ratchet Bomb are both reasonable. Raven's Crime is pretty bad. Collective Brutality is pretty bad. It doesn't do anything. I guess I just leave in Brutality. Yeah, Leyline means the only thing Liliana can do is plus. Yeah, I mean, they have a bunch of ley lines, Maddie. Ratchet Bob can kill it. That's true. Is bringing in Surgical to take them off their creatures crazy? I don't think it is, actually. I'm going to do that. Opponents playing magic cards. Let's bring in Surgical, right? That's the meme. He's more Vampire Nighthawk, right? 10 out of 10 needs more Vampire Nighthawk. Go away, sideboard. I need you not. This hand's pretty bad, right? No discard spells, no edicts. Just go ahead and play catch and release here. No, no second black source. Uh, this hand's probably not good enough on the draw. They don't have Leyline, though, so that's good for us. They don't have a creature either. Is this a Dryad Arbor hand? Or do we keep a Core Spirit Dancer? Find out. That's sweet. All right, so we'll bend the Spirit Dancer here, and then during their draw step, I'm going to Surgical the Spirit Dancer, since they have two of them. We surgical during their draw step because it gives my opponent a chance to draw um, to draw a third spirit dancer and take two of them out of their hand. The surgical worked. <laughs> uh, in the tank about whether or not they want a temple garden or if they want to save it for Dryad Arbor. A head puncher with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope they draw a third spirit dancer here. That would be the nut. They drew Glade Covered Scout. What a tilt. What a tilt. I'm sliding out of my chair here. Take a picture because it lasts longer. See a hyena number gone here. Really want a Liliana the Veil here or a smallpox? Thought sees. I guess I just want to take their daybreak, right? They brought in Rest in Peace. I, I suppose they did see blood gas out of us, right? So that doesn't seem unreasonable. <laughs> I'm not going to crack this fetch because if I draw smallpox, I want to sacrifice it, I think. Immediately draw lingering souls. Um... Do I want a copter here or do I want a souls? I think I want a souls. I think I want a souls.
I don't think I want to chump for only two here. I think if they crack in for two here again, I'm just going to take the lick. Pangu Power! It's a 24 month resubscription. It's a long time. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's edict this nerd. I wonder if I'm supposed to plus there actually. Because if I plus, I get the last card out of their hand. And like this turn, they could go like land Leyline and kind of screw me. So maybe I was supposed to plus while I had the guaranteed card to take out of their hand. If they went land ley line, I was just slide out of my chair. But now like their ley lines are castable, right? Whereas like had I plus the Liliana last turn, they probably would have discarded that land. Jun Jundel seems like a fine deck in modern. Seems plenty reasonable. All right, so I need like one brick out of them. I need them to dodge. No Rancor, no no Leyline here. Ratchet Bomb's pretty good. Um, discard that. Yeah, I think I'm. They have paths in their deck still, right? They have two paths. All right, I'm gonna flash back. Lingering Souls here, so that way Path to Exile doesn't kill our Liliana. And again, I do think I ultimately missequenced my Liliana this game. If I would have, if I would have plused her the turn I played here, I could have gone plus into down tick, down tick. Because like, if I would have plused her the turn I played here, my opponent wouldn't be on four lands right now, and they wouldn't be able to hard cast a Leyline of Sanctity if they drew one. So if my opponent draws Leyline here, that's definitely on me, and I could have beaten that. Another Glade Cover Scout's also pretty good for them. Well, I guess I get to... This is punishment for not using the Ratchet Bomb last turn, I suppose. But you get to play my entire hand out here, which is nice. So I get to bring this back. I get to go Smuggler's Copter. I get to play Ratchet Bomb. And then I get to plus Liliana. So I need to fade... I need to fade here again for a turn, but I get to go ahead and activate this up, kill this, and then Liliana edict away this Glade Cover Scout. God, they drew Leyline. Fuck. Man, that's unfortunate for me. And again, I could have sequenced in a way to make this not happen. Shadowborn Apostle meme sounds good, Justin. Nosferatu with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here, so I do appreciate that. Um, well, this was a really bad attack on their part. Eventually, I get to ratchet bomb the ley line. And take my free loot here. Yeah, so my... My sequencing definitely left a little bit to be desired this game. I could have sequenced a number of things a little bit more optimally. I don't know why they're conceding to that. They're definitely not dead. All right, I'll take it, I guess. I will take it, I suppose. Thank you everyone for hanging out here tonight. Hanging out, playing some modern. I'm gonna play this league with the smallpox deck and then we're gonna play some blue red prison and then we'll see how late we are at that point before I figure out if we're gonna do another one or not. I think we're gonna run a little bit late tonight. Yes, with that Twitch Prime ad. Ratchet Bomb plus Toto Armor does not work the way you want. We The Ratchet Bomb owner wants it to work. So the creature lives, but the Totem Armors will go away. Well, so here's the thing. 
the reason it works that way is because totem armor is not a trigger. It's a it's a replacement effect. That's fair. It leaves them with just a 1-1, one -one Justin. So maybe they just can't race us at that point. I guess that's a fair assessment of the situation. Like, they're still they're pretty far behind at that point. Yeah, it would kill both armors. That is correct. This hand's great. Turn one, thought seize. Turn two, smallpox. I did play KCI already. Is uploading to the YouTubes now. I'll be live tonight after I'm done. Gorio's Vengeance, you say? All right. Um, do I just take Lightning Axe? I think so. I think I just take Lightning Axe here. So, I think I just copped her next turn, right? And start powering through my stuff. This matchup's probably not too terrible. We've got a lot of meaningful disruption. We've got some surgicals in our board. Plenty of discard. So you have to go ahead and play this blood ghast out. Collective Brutality is an excellent draw. Right, we got four of those in the main deck, right? I like that Copter lets Bloodgast like pseudo block, which is kind of sweet. So the Looter Scooter is the reason why I took their Lightning Axe here. Wanted to make sure that doesn't kill my thing. Smack here. Really want to draw land. Ding, so I get to bin this, and then I get to play this land and put the blood gas into play. Which is pretty awesome. Seems pretty good. I wonder if I'm supposed to smallpox them next turn. I guess I could collective brutality and spot check first and see what's going on. Yeah, the smuggler's copter seems really sweet in this deck. Definitely 10 out of 10 agree that Smuggler's Copter seems really excellent. Just like applying pressure, it's providing card selection for us in a, in a set of colors that generally doesn't have a lot of card selection. I think I'm bidding the second one here though. Yeah, C Copter is super sweet in this deck, 10 out of 10. Huh. Hey, Nerferx with the $5 donation. F it. I'll tell him, hey, chat, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to your favorite Twitch streamer for free. Just link both accounts. I highly suggest subbing to our man here. He's good at magic. Thank you for the donation and for plugging for me. All right, so the fact that they have Gristlebrand in their hand actually means that I don't really want to play... I don't really want to play smallpox this turn, right? Although I guess what I just left them with here, if they draw through the breach, they can through the breach me this turn. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm supposed to... Hey, Fancy Sun 413 Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime support. There's a lot of great Twitch streamers out there. Thanks for using your, your Prime there to support my content this month. All right, so this screws off of this. And then I get to fire up Mutavault. And then this is nine. Are they dead? They're not dead, right? I should have escalated the brutality last turn, right? I should have escalated the brutality last turn. Liana, that doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, they're at, they're at two. If I would have escalated Brutality last turn, they'd be dead. I usually get to pass here, though, right? 
Yeah, I'm not going to put... Although, I guess keeping them off of a land... It's, it's like damned if I do, damned if I don't. Taking them off of a land is helpful towards not dying to breach, but taking them off of a... Taking them off... Put, let's put Gristlebrand in the graveyard. Sorry, as I'm mumbling through here. We have Surgicals and Nile Spell Bombs. Soren is slow. Fatal Push is terrible. Raven's Crime is okay. I guess that's all I really want. You could maybe argue that I want Fulminator Mages to Stone Rain them. Oh, uh, Pithing Needle is fine, right? <clears throat> yeah, Holy Diva. The clock is something these, this archetype generally lacks. And like Smuggler's Copter with these X ones is really pretty good at, at pressuring. Don't needle Borborygmos, right? I think this is all I want here. I don't think I want Fulminator Mage. Once I'm post-board, Liliana gets a lot better because I have Graveyard Hate. So, like, plusing Liliana is a lot less scary when I have access to, like, Surgical Extraction and Nihil Spell Bomb. This hand is not good enough. One land and uh, no discard spells. I had some good sideboard cards, but not quite there. Um... I think this, unfortunately, has to be a mulligan, too. It's a little bit more functional, but it just, like, doesn't have cards that we're looking for in this matchup. This seems very good. Looking for more lands here with the scry. But it also went to six. Yeah, disenchants a card that I'm a fan of in this style of archetype. It answers some problem permanence. Would have been good against the ley lines we played against last match. We still beat the ley lines, but it would have been good there had they had they been a problem. All right, opponent had two scries and missed. Well, now now we're just smallpoxing the shit out of them, right? Because there's like ten out of ten more lands in our deck than there are in their deck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab. Is there only one flagstones in this deck? That seems loose. All right. Yeah, let's just guess this, I think. I think I'm actually going to bend this Surgical Extraction. Packs it in. All right, sure, deal. We we were pretty far away from actually winning there, but maybe they just didn't have a lot going on. Quick 2-0-4-0. Hope everyone out there is having a good time tonight. My name is Jeff Hoagland. If you're new, I'm a full-time streamer, memer, content producer here on Twitch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing on Twitch to show a little bit of support. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do this full time. You can also support my stuff by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell some magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on singles orders there. CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Uh, InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix and you. Anironix likes to remind you at the very least, please make sure you hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything. It lets you know when we go live and with what. I always try and put the names of the decks that I'm going to be streaming on a given day in the stream title so you can, uh, you can know what we're playing. And if you can't catch it live, be sure to check out my YouTube channel after the fact. All of my YouTube archives go up there uh, shortly after the stream is finished. We have already doubled the amount of wins that we had with the KCI deck. The old 2 pairings. Look at that accurate pairings. That's so good. Go ahead and thought seize here on one. What you got, opponent? Cumins. All right. What? How are we approaching this? I don't know what I want to take here. I want to play Bob on two, which I think means I want to take the Mantis Rider. I think I just want to take Mantis Rider. Like, the rest of their cards are whatever. I think trying to mana screw this deck in general just doesn't work. 
I never say yes or no to a deck list as a as a donation deck list until I've seen a card for card what it's going to be. So send me a whisper me or DM me on Twitch or Twitter or Discord, and I will say yes, no, whether or not I'm interested in playing something. Well, that's quite excellent, right? I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go land smallpox here. Just like kick you right in the dick. Sweep. Clean sweep the legs right out from underneath you here. This feels good. This feels real good, chat. Feels feels just dandy. Pretty pretty okay. Nice human stack opponent. Be a damn shame if something were to happen to some of them. Is your another one drop tilt? <clears throat> Drawing another one drop kind of sucks for us. Punish for bidding my white sources. Hopefully, find another discard outlet here soon. Please miss a land drop. Please miss a land drop. Please miss a land drop. I'm hoping that long pause with them getting a drink of something and not them uh <clears throat> not them pulling up the stream to find out what they should meddling mage. So long, fatal push, my old friend. Yep. M's the beats, chat. M's the beats. Another herb flipped a four drop, hit an herborg. It flew too close to the sun, chat. Flew too close to the sun. You know. That's the, that was the beat sometimes. Alright. Bontus is great. I think big game hunter's pretty fine here too. Ratchet bomb's probably okay. Soren's a little slow. Thought sees is a little pretty bad. Raven's crime's pretty bad. It's a pretty clean swap. It's a pretty clean swap. I don't care. Maybe the opponent just, just had the soul read. If winning this match in this league is that important to my opponent's self-esteem and they need to ghost, they can ghost. This is what it is. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's 100% either way. You can never really know unless they're like bold enough to like say, ha ha ha, I'm ghosting you in chat, right? <clears throat> Real talk, does someone want to do this project for me? <clears throat> No, I think we just ignore Aether Vial overall. <coughs> Sounds like bedtime is going on upstairs. The wailing and gnashing of teeth. The teeth, they wail and they gnash. It's it's tough being four chat. It's tough tough being four.
Jeff is cheating at us with another monitor. Let's pull it up. Pulling up deck lists for later tonight. <sighs> Anironix wants to see a tree folk deck. Um There's no way this is a keep, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna mulligan this. Oh, thank you. You're oh, the best. Late. How late is late? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Midnight later. Okay, then I'm probably gonna sleep on the couch. So I don't have to listen to you. I love you. It'll be quiet when you go upstairs. Okay. We are pretty dead. We're pretty dead. I guess. I guess we'll try for a basic swamp here or black source. My wife brought me a sandwich, so I'll be. I'm gonna mute myself really quick here while I try and eat. Am I supposed to smallpox here? Real chat. Am I supposed to smallpox here? I think I'm supposed to go plain smallpox, sack the planes, discard lingering souls. What do we think? I feel like not using my mana here is really bad. Yeah. I think it's discard this, do this. <clears throat> we'll sack the planes. We'll flash back the souls next turn. And it's just like taking them off their third mana is not irrelevant. They're down to one card in hand here too.
Gallop Blast and a Spirit Token, yep. So I'll attack with Scourge and not this. Yep, seems fine. Wow, our deck's actually like really good against Etch Champion, huh? Yeah, there also just like aren't that many white spells in our deck and what few white spells we do have we can discard to Liliana the flashback for black mana if they smash with everything here I'm gonna animate the smuggler's copter and eat the signal pest oh I like this line from the opponent. They, uh, I can pump the Ink Moth, which shrinks my copter down to a 1-1. One, one. But I think I'm okay with that. I just want to, like, get my loot on. That's a good play on their part, but I also think it's just, like, we're fine with it. I like super excited, but it's fine. Bitter Blossom is real good here. Land is also great. Let's get this going ASAP here. Your move. <coughs> Why does this card loot when it blocks? Isn't that the million dollar question? All right, so I'm taking five on this attack. I think I just want to eat their Vault Scourge here. And like next turn, I can escalate a collective brutality potentially. So I'm going to 11 and then I'm going to 10 here. So we'll see what we draw here, but I'm probably just killing and escalating to drain. Yeah, I don't, I definitely can't, uh, I definitely can't afford to put Dark Confidant into play on this board state. Am I doing this? No, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to be conservative and leave these back here for now. <clears throat> I think this is just like Liliana Edict to you. Seems reasonable. We're having, it's a tough, it's a tough, tough time in toddler land tonight. I'm sure you're picking up some of that on. Picking up some of that on the, uh, the microphone there. <clears throat> All right, so what do you got? Probably just escalating this collective brutality again. Yep, 10 out of 10. So, escalate with two modes, kill plus drain. Uh, do this and you, discard this. And then we'll plus the Liliana to get the last card out of their hand. Um, if I attack in here, they can eat one of my tokens. So I don't really want them to do that until I have a few more. I think at one point they said in design, Smuggler's Copter had Vigilance, which is kind of terrifying. Ginger Cakes with the nine month three subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I do appreciate the continued support. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. <clears throat> huh. 
steel overseer, huh? I guess it's time to just beat him down, right? Smush. Vault Scourge is pretty good. It makes it impossible to race here, basically. Get cut pretty punished for firing off my collective brutalities aggressively here. Punished for not having a planes anymore. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure that we can beat two activations out of this card from the board state that we're in. I feel like I mismanaged my resources a little bit this game. I feel like we're in a pretty advantageous position at one point. I just kind of let it slip away, slip away because they drew the steel over here. Thoughts using myself to put the Lingering Souls in the bin isn't very good because it's gonna, just going to make Bitter Blossom kill me sooner. If I draw a piece of spot removal for this Vault Scourge, I might be able to just race them because they won't have the lifelink anymore. So I'm really hoping to draw like Fatal Push here, ideally. That's, that's truly unfortunate for me. Yeah, I think that's going to be too, too little too late. I guess if they don't attack with this this turn, I could potentially have one more. Now, the Muta Vault's valuable for racing and chump blocking into things like Master of Ethereum. So I'm really hoping they don't attack with this here, and then I get to rip. Yeah, yeah I think this means I'm just dead. I'm pretty sure this means we're drawing dead at this point. I don't think that was the mistake in the slightest, Badger GTK. I don't think I don't think that was anywhere near the mistake I made this game. The mistake I made this game was firing off my collective brutalities too aggressively. I shouldn't have fired those off on signal pests when I had all these fairy rogues. I should have saved them for the steel overseer. Yeah, yeah, we're just at this point. Definitely mismanaged what resources I had that game. What does our sideboard look like for this? It doesn't yeah, we've got two Stony Silence. That's pretty good. We've got Ratchet Bomb. We've got Pithing Needle. We've got Bontus. I have a lot of cards I don't really want here, though. I don't want these. I don't want these. I don't want Small Box. So, like, I'm definitely light on having enough cards for this matchup. Uh, Big Game Hunter can come in, I suppose. I don't think I want Fulminator Mage. I don't think that was the part that mattered. I think using the Lilia I used the Liliana fine. I think the collective brutalities were ultimately what mattered that game. I think the people that are focusing on like what I did with the Liliana are looking at the wrong part, not understanding like what actually mattered. Why is smallpox good? Like they just have so many irrelevant threats. I guess keeping them off of lands is pretty valuable. Their creature lands matter. That's fair. That's fair, like cutting their, cuts their resources just fine. Sometimes it takes a card out of their hand. Let's try this. Let's try this. You sometimes hit three resources, like the opponent's hand is gonna be empty a lot of the time as part of the issue. It says Dark Confidant into Lingering Souls, which is probably fine. Fetch out Godless Shrine here. Use your, put on your big kid pants. Fulminator is better than smallpox because. I don't know, like having a glut of threes against the opponent's deck is like not a very particularly good spot to be either. Remember the opponent's deck is very resource efficient. So like, could you imagine if I had more threes in this hand? Like that's not something I'm really interested in. Whereas like on this board state, drawing a smallpox is actually kind of okay. Cause like they both have their, both their lands are things that I'm interested in killing. 
But I mean, like, Grey Ogre is really terrible in this matchup. Like, exceedingly bad. Like, most of their things don't attack on the ground. <clears throat> Europeer Aethergrid. This deck needs Disenchant very badly. Definitely, definitely needs some Disenchants in the 75. Let's run off to the fifth match here and see how that one goes. Ben, Ben pretty solidly slaughters in one direction or another for all the matches that we've played so far tonight, it feels like. Just two O's and O2s. Fragmentize would be okay. I think I'm a fan of Disenchant in general. I guess I wouldn't hate splitting them. The 3 2 dream. That's true. Every deck is a 3 2 deck. Every deck is a 3 2 deck. I think I want one to two more lands. One to two more lands on the deck as well. When we finish tonight, we'll do a we'll do our normal wrap-up segment talking about things that would change in general and why. I'm gonna bottom that for now. That seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Squid daddies, huh? Except for slivers and ironworks, right? Take a ten-minute timeout for being a dick. If you wanna, if you wanna criticize someone's work, whether it be a deck list that someone submitted or something that I myself have done, that's great and encouraged. If it's constructive criticism, simply stroking off your own ego by coming in here and being like, "This deck's shitty. It's got a bunch of mistakes in it." Like that's not helpful or useful. It's just wasted space in my chat. So if you're not going to be constructive, you can go away. So take a 10 minute break. And if you want to be constructive when you come back, that's going to be encouraged. Uh, if you don't want to be, don't come back. There's no, there's no need to talk down to people without being useful. Honestly, even if you're being constructive, you don't need to talk down while you do it. So, I think I like four Smuggler's Copter for pretty much the same reason I like four Liliana of the Veil, which is that it's really hard to flood on Smuggler's Copters because the first Copter can loot away additional Copters. I need to cut my hair, Matty. It's thin and it's long and it's sticking off to the side. Thought Not Seer here is actually kind of brutal for us, right? I don't have a good way to kill it currently. And, oh, well, this is great. Yep, sign me up for this. Now I get to go ahead and GM. I'm actually gonna thought seize them here, I think. I really don't wanna get smushered next turn. Sweet, all right, yep. Take your smusher, go. Yep, yeah, it looks like the colorless Stompy deck that kind of picked up in popularity at the end of... I wonder if I was supposed to... I think I, I, I sequenced my lands here wrong. I should have shocked this out so that way I collected Brutality and take their Dismember. Yeah, and like now I'm not going to be able to fire up my Smuggler's Copter, which kind of sucks. Next turn, we'll go tap land Lingering Souls. But I'm going to take five this turn and go down to eight, which is a pretty, pretty significant hit. This 
They draw another threat here. Are they planning to play the Chalice of the Void out for one, perhaps? Feels like a Chalice for one. Kind of surprised they didn't play Blink Moth. All right, so I know they have Dismember, right? I think I'm actually, do I just want to go like full ham on this Collective Brutality? I think I just want to do all three here. I don't really need another brutality here. I, do, I want to bin the souls so I can flash them back this turn. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I'm just going to do all three. Do this, this, this. Do this. Do I need a backup smuggler's copter? I probably don't need a backup brutality. So I get to take their dismember here. If your goal is to acquire cards to play constructed, you should always just buy the cards that you want to play with. You should never should never open booster packs, whether it's in limited or otherwise. You should only play limited if you enjoy playing limited. If you don't enjoy playing limited, then you shouldn't play. All right, and now I'm just gonna fire up my turducken here. Just like smuggle on over, right? I guess I could leave leave this back, but I really kind of want to get a loot, right? I want to get my fat, fat loot on here. Um, I'd rather have a backup copter than a backup brutality, I think. That's why we discarded the other one earlier. You draw Thought Not Seer. This could be a Reality Smasher, too. Chalice on two. Oh, that's pretty bad for us. All right. Well, well hopefully this looter scooter can power us through here. All right. I don't actually have a way to get this off the table in my main deck other than a Liliana ultimate. So I guess let's just bring the pain, right? They've got three a turn. We've got four a turn. So we're winning this race. Why didn't they attack with the Muta Vault? That's weird. Get to go ahead and loot here again. Looking for some three mana spells. Yeah, Soren would be like the nut, right? I'm really sad we didn't get the second Smuggler's Copter into play before they chaliced us for two. Um, the Blink Moth Nexus can animate itself and then power itself up. So it would be able to eat my 1-1 Spirit for free. Had I had I done that. Big Game Hunter and Bontus are excellent here. Uh, Collective Brutality is actually pretty bad, I think, on average. Raven's Crime also leaves a little bit to be desired. These cards are all excellent to board in. Big Game Hunter is really sweet in this deck. Like, the fact that we can trigger Madness ourselves off of Smallpox and Liliana the Veil is quite excellent. Yeah, yeah, I think Stony Silence is too narrow for that. Concur. Um, some, something that people often like to do and often suggest or have questions about is why I'm not bringing in the Fulminator Mages in a matchup like this. I really don't like bringing in Fulminator Mage against the non-Tron Eldrazi decks because by the time you're stone running them, they've already used their 
they've already used their thing to make extra mana a couple of times i guess maybe because this deck this version of the eldrazi deck has so many creatures lands as inflammator mage could be okay but i think in general i'd rather err on the side of not having it rather than having it obviously if they're playing a tron variant i snap off bringing in the fulminator mages but in general i don't think i want them uh this seems pretty mediocre like double urborg's not exciting um small i just don't really have anything to interact with uh, hmm. i'm not sure how i feel about this one Seems like nuts with an Urborg, right? YOLO. We're up, we're up a game. Dilt. And do it live, chat. That's fine. We still got another draw step. It's cool. It's cool. This is the Urborg. All right. I lied. Mulligan more. Mulligan more. Mulligan more, chat. I make the mistake so you don't have to. I think of, think of me as a martyr. Think of me as a martyr. The top six people on the Magic channel on Twitch right now are two people playing Cube and then me playing Modern than all Magic Arena. This seems pretty good. It's a little bit sad if they play a Chalice on one, but I guess if they play Chalice on one, we can just Looter Scooter through everything. They did exile an Eternal Scourge here. And then I'll draw a temple. That's fantastic. So I get to go ahead and play Looter Scooter out here. And then next turn I get to play this Lingering Souls and just start smashing them. If you don't like cubers, it's hard to get people to pay for it. There's just so many people that all they do is stream limited. And like, I have, not only do I have a demand for constructed, but I feel like there's a void in constructed content on Magic Online in general. That's really annoying. Although I guess I have like this bitter blossom to eventually. So hopefully they hopefully they use this ratchet bomb to kill my lingering souls tokens. I think I like the fact that this small pox deck is playing Mutavault in its colorless land slot. You really just can't afford to play that many colorless lands in a deck that has this many double black cards is what it comes down to. I mean, best format is super subjective. Like, personal enjoyment aside, like, you know, different people like different things, different strokes for different folks and all that. You're either killing my spirit tokens or charging this up. Okay, so that means I'm not playing this Bitter Blossom out. Watsy's not investing in Magic Online because they took all the profits that they've made from Magic Online and they've built Magic Arena for you. Back these souls since they pushed this up. Crew smugglers copter here. Smash for five. They could have a dismember here, but I feel like if they had dismember, they wouldn't have been pushing the ratchet bomb up, right? They do have a dismember. Weird. Okay. I mean, I just get to like smash you here, right? Go. I really like the Muta Vaults, Netty Tree. I like that you can, um, I like that you can take kind of aggressive stances with this deck, especially with the Smuggler's Copters. Um, so I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of the Muta Vaults and the Colorless Land slots. I think one of my pieces of feedback overall is going to recommend going up the total lands in the deck. I think I'd like to see a, a second Flagstones of Troll Care along with one to two more Godless Shrines in the deck, probably playing 23 to 24 lands total overall. 
You don't really care about this. We'll just take three here. And like, if they thought not to hear me here, I'm kind of okay with that, right? Mana Reshaper is actually kind of annoying because I don't really want to kill that, but I need to. I mean, it's tough to know what anyone judging Arena based on its current economy, I think, is a little bit silly because we don't actually know what their final economy is going to look like. No, I think four Urborgs is fine between Smuggler's Copter and Liliana of the Veil and uh, Smallpox sacrificing. I think four, four Urborgs is fine. And, and as always, at the end of every donation deck list, we're going to go ahead and pull up the deck list on screen here and kind of take a look and give some suggestions for things that I would change and why. Have some actual useful feedback, I feel like, for this deck. I'm going to kill one of these because I don't want to lose the race. The Gemstone Caverns deal. Have another legendary land. State-based actions. Go. I'm going to take this in for three just because I don't want them to draw another card off of it, I don't think. Eternal Scourge, sure. All right, they're dead in two here. I have to go ahead and fatal push this blank bot Texas when they fire it up. Wow, no fire up on the blank bot Texas. Sure, deal. Feels good. Play a ratchet bomb of my own out. Yeah, Smuggler's Copter is probably okay in Fairies, Justin. I think Smuggler's Copter is probably a card that's like a, probably a touch underplayed in Modern in general. The card's very reasonable. I like the regular Art Fatal Push a little bit better, I think. All right, so we got the 3-2. That feels good after scrubbing a couple of leagues with other things. So, things I would change and why. Um... I think I would definitely go up at least one land in this deck. I think this random Raven's Crime is probably my cut. I think I would turn like one swamp into a godless shrine. Hey, hug the quiffer with with the five month subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, I think I would turn this into another land and I would probably go up a second flagstones just because it's so good with uh, the blood gas and stuff and then i would turn like one of these swamps into another godless shrine just so i had a, i had three planes to go with my flagstones of troll care um the main deck spell composition seems plenty fine i think i was pretty happy with that yeah double double white is not something you're very interested in the white's a very small splash in a deck that's otherwise effectively like mono black i think i like storm and solemn visitor almost said i might trim this but i actually really like the idea of just like having supplemental ways to gain health in the deck especially with like collective brutality and dark confidant being cards that we're playing um i think i would probably try and fit some copies of disenchant into the sideboard i'm not really sure what i would cut offhand i guess it probably comes down to like how badly do you want to beat tron with smallpox and stony silence and fulminator mage that's probably probably an okay you probably have an okay tron matchup especially when you bring in when you bring in surgicals for their copies of tron lands after you beat them up honestly maybe we don't need we don't need um we don't need nile spellbomb in here like dedicated graveyard decks i guess dredge might be a little bit hard but again it just like comes down to like what decks are you interested in beating and what decks are you interested in like having more game against and i think like if i have this package here for beating Tron, I can probably afford to give up something like against Dredge. And I think like these would probably be my disenchant sideboard slots. <laughs> What's going on, Wraith PK? All right. Uh, so that wraps small pox. Let's, uh, 